what's up everybody thank you so much for coming back to the up next youtube channel um today's video we're going to be going over a brand new feature that clover added for the fourth quarter their fourth quarter update onto their software so we're going to start off um by going to setup app which is located on everybody's home screen as long as you have access to it so make sure you are logged in with an admin code so we're going to go over to setup once you're over in setup we're going to go over to orders now you're going to see a new option here on the bottom that says track reasons for um track reasons for item removals basically what this is going to be is if you're a food business a clothing store and an employee added an item to an order and then needed to delete it you probably want to find out what the reason exactly that was for rather than just going based off of memory or something like that now you can activate this feature on clover simple to use simple to set up and it's just uh you're tracking waste you're tracking uh, in case anybody's stealing things like that so while we're in the setup app again we're going to go over to orders and then we're going to click the bottom option that says track reasons for item removals now to turn that on we're going to hit record reasons and then you can set up multiple different reasons. So the reasons that are pre-prompted from Clover is cashier error, server error, kitchen error, and customer changed their mind. Of course, you can add a reason like exchange, for example. So we type in exchange, we hit done, and now that's an option. What also I like about it is you can go up and down and change the order of the uh, reasons that they're removing items. But let's say you want to just keep it like that. We can just go ahead and click save. So now we go back to the home screen. We go to our app orders and let's just pull up our last order here. Click on reopen. So this is going to be an example of how this uh, how this new feature will benefit your business and how it actually works. So let's say I put in the Angus ribeye and now we're going to click on the ribeye and we're going to hit delete. Now, this option comes up before that you're actually able to delete it. Whether it was a cashier error, server error, kitchen error, there's many, many different options here. Let's just say 86th item, which in the restaurant business means that the item is no longer available. Either they're just not serving it tonight or they ran out of that product. So we're going to go 86 the item and then delete. So that's today's video. As always, thank you so much for watching the Up Next YouTube channel. Feel free to like and subscribe uh, to the channel, to the video, and of course, follow us on all socials at Up Nexa. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one.